Hello, my name is Helen Mort. I'm a poet, I'm a fiction writer. I also write some non-fiction as well. I think I started writing poetry when I was about 11 or 12 and I wanted to share with you some of my top tips for young writers today because I think it can be quite a daunting time when you're starting out um, and it's good to feel like you're not alone and you've got a bit of encouragement to get going, particularly if you're new to writing. So I've got three top tips. Um, my first tip is pretty simple. It's just to read, read, read and not just the stuff that you think you're going to like as well. I think I'd encourage you to read really widely, look for different things to challenge yourself, look for recommendations, perhaps even for things that you think you're not going to enjoy and it might open your mind a bit in your reading. Tip two is to be yourself which I know is easier said than done um, but don't let anyone tell you that you can't write about a particular subject or that it's not um, something that's going to be fascinating to people whatever your world is you can make it interesting and it will be interesting and tip three is to be brave and to share your writing with people that you trust or perhaps at workshops or at open mics. It's really valuable to get the support of other people and to get some constructive feedback as well, no matter how daunting it might seem at first. Don't hide it away in a drawer, get your writing out there and share it with others. So in the spirit of that, I better practice what I preach and share one of my very first poems with you all. I think I wrote this tiny poem when I was um, only maybe about 12 or 13. It's very, very short. Um, but yeah, please be, please be gentle with me because this is one of the first things that I ever wrote. It's called Suspect 10. Make the fire talk about itself. Torture the flames until they splutter the story. Threaten the smoke into revealing its tail. Beat the coal until it spills the beans and scrutinise the ash. Make the fire talk about itself. There you go, that's one of my very earliest poems. I'm sure you can do better than that. Um, if you'd like a writing prompt to respond to some of this, I challenge you to reply to my poem about the fire. Um, what would the fire say if it could talk? What, if I actually got it to talk, what kinds of things would it say? I'd love to hear some stories of, of, of those kind of different worlds and what the fire or what another object um, might say. Good luck, happy writing and wishing you all the best.